Mason, I think I better go in alone. Why? Your hey, mother Isabel may want to have a few words with the unscrupulous sinner who spirited you out of here. She's going to be angry enough as it is. It'd only make things worse. But do you think I should apologize to her? No, no, no. I'll do I'll do the apologizing. I made my own decisions, and I'm the one she's disappointed in. If that's what you want. I'll meet you back at your father's house, all right? Mary, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna go back to Mark, are you? I'm gonna do what's right, Mason. Just trust me. I don't want you involved in this. I already am. I'm responsible. Mason, I don't want you or anybody thinking that, that I was pushed or forced into doing anything. Do you understand that? Yeah, I suppose. With a little persuasion, I might even depart peaceably. I love you. Love you. Just fine, Mr. Hartley. And yourself? I'm fine, thank you. Listen, Kelly Capwell uh, left something here for my brother, Nick, and he wanted me to come and pick it up. I think I know just what that something might be. Thank you. Might this be it? It certainly might. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not above you, but below. Love's always closer than you know. Your first lady, long postponed, keeps a fire that's yours alone. Your first lady. of your life, okay? It's gonna make you very happy, but right now you have to be very quiet. Do exactly as I say. Do you understand that? That was Nick, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Well, why didn't you let him in? Well, because in order for this surprise to work, you and I are the only ones who can be here. Well, can you tell me what it is now? No, not yet, but... Listen to me, if the surprise works the way I want it to, you mustn't tell anyone that I was the one that arranged it, all right? Where did Kelly go? I don't know. Maybe she's uh, asleep up in the room upstairs. Why don't you go on up and check, okay? Okay. All right. Sir, um, I'm trying to locate Gina Capwell. Uh, she's a witness in a case. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I understand that you're not giving out her location, but my name is um, Ted Capwell. I'm a member of the family. Well, what do you mean that doesn't matter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're not keeping her in the same place where you usually do. You moved her to no. Fine. Well, where where is that? Yeah, fine. I understand. No, no, I don't want to leave a message. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Up there. There was a man up there, and he had a rifle. He aimed it right at me. I was terribly afraid. Do you remember his face? Did he say anything? He said that... That he hated Eve. That she had betrayed him, that she was cheating on him, and he wanted her dead. He said that, are you sure? I remember it very clearly now. Must be Cruz, you stay right here, and you remember everything you just told me. I want him to hear this, and you stay here.
Brandon, come here. Listen, I want you to say something into the phone, all right? This is part of the surprise. Say whatever you want. Say, uh, say your name. Okay, and anything you want. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Hi. My name is Brandon Capwell. I'm seven years old. Brandon? Brandon? Go see if you can find Brandon. Me. Gina, I was just wondering, do you feel your amnesia returning? I understand these things have a way of coming back. Kirk, please don't hurt Brandon. You wouldn't... Would you? You wouldn't dare. I haven't told him anything yet. Fine. Just keep it that way. I'll do anything you say. Just don't hurt Brandon. Kirk! All right, Gina. Eden is here, too. Tell me again. Tell us all again about that man with the rifle. Your husband called last night, several times. Mother Isabel, I know that you must be disappointed in me, and I'm so sorry. I didn't know what to say to him. I was too ashamed to tell him where I thought you were. I was with Mason. I know it's a sin, and I'm not going to try to excuse it or rationalize it, but... But there was a kind of a blessing in it. A blessing? Mary, I thought you came here to search for guidance. I came here because I was afraid. I was... I was afraid to hurt the people that I love. And I've done that anyway, and I'm really sorry that you were one of them. But Mother Isabel, I... I think that I finally got some guidance, and I'm going to be able to make a decision now. No matter what you think of me, would you pray that it's the right decision? Justin Moore, had any interesting patients on your psychiatry couch lately? I know that you asked about me at the hospital, Dylan. In fact, I'm looking for Kelly right now so that I can explain. What, Kelly doesn't know that you're shrink? I'm not yet. I'm still in my residency. Well, it's just a matter of time before you're a full-fledged psychiatrist. And Kelly doesn't know, does she? What about Nick? Yes. See, I knew that. I knew that there was some kind of conspiracy between you two. He's got you making Kelly think anything that he wants. That's why they had a romantic reconciliation. And that's why Kelly came to me spouting all this ridiculous psycho babble. This is ridiculous, and you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. Oh, yeah? So what are you gonna do now, doctor? Fill me with some psycho doctor talk? Well, forget it. I'm not that gullible. Dylan, have you never had a friend? And that's what I was trying to be to Kelly. Now, why didn't you tell her that you were a psychiatrist? I didn't at first because I knew that she was a little leery of psychiatrists. And then, well, it would have been awkward to bring it up all of a sudden. I didn't want to destroy her trust in me. Yeah, so you can keep helping my brother cheat me out of the one thing that could have saved my life. Our lives together. Kelly's and mine. Dylan, you're way off base. I think you better get a grip on yourself. Above you, but below.
Muy bien, Gina. Ahora dinos dónde crees que estaba ese hombre. Estaba allí arriba. ¿Quién era? Gina, ¿quién era? No lo sé. ¿Cómo que no lo sabes? No pude verle bien la cara, no le veía con claridad. Solo oí lo que dijo. ¿Qué fue exactamente? Dijo que si yo no mataba a Aiden, nos mataría a las dos. Eso es lo que dijo, que nos mataría a las dos. ¿Por qué no fuiste a la policía al darte cuenta de que planeaba la muerte de Aiden? Me dijo que le haría daño a mi hijo si se lo decía a alguien. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué quería matar a Aiden? Gina, diles lo que me has contado. Odiaba a Aiden. Porque ella le traicionó. Y porque le había engañado. ¿Estarías dispuesta a firmar una declaración jurada? Si juntamos eso con las pruebas que ya tenemos, ya es nuestro. Bueno, recuerdo algo más. Él dijo que Iden les tapaba dinero. Dinero que... que él conseguía chantajeándola por algo que había hecho. ¿Fue eso lo que siguió? Sí. Me llegaron cartas de chantaje el invierno pasado de alguien que decía haberme visto desconectar los aparatos de papá. Cariño, ¿por qué no me lo dijiste? No podía decírtelo. Kir le pagó dinero y... él dejó esta nota. ¿Viste a ese tipo? No, solo Kir le vio. Es probable. Ah, recuerdo su aspecto. Ahora lo recuerdo. Medía... un metro ochenta más o menos. De unos 90 kilos y con barba muy poblada. Barba muy poblada. ¿Y ahora es cuando lo estás recordando? ¿Mm? Así es. ¿Cuánto debes haber sufrido? Si atrapamos a ese tipo, te Papá, juro que... Ya está bien. Necesito un poco de aire fresco, disculpadme. Creo que yo también. No, no, creo que tú no. Sabes que no me estoy tragando nada de esto. Probablemente habéis montado este teatro del chantaje entre Kir y tú. Acabo de recordarlo ahora mismo, estás loco. Y ya que estamos con el tema del sistema de respiración artificial de CC, deberíamos hablar de eso otra vez esta noche, ¿eh? No veo que puede arreglar eso. Si no sé lo que hice la semana pasada, ¿cómo voy a recordar el invierno? Eso dices, pero me permito dudarlo. Cruz, ¿y si lo dejamos? No hay necesidad de tratar este tema ahora. Gina me salvó la vida. No podemos olvidarlo. Eso es algo aparte. Me gustaría obtener respuestas directas. Tengo la sensación de que tu memoria es muy selectiva. Cruz, ¿podrías dejarnos a Gina y a mí a solas? ¿Por qué, Aiden? Me gustaría hablarle en privado, por favor. Está bien. ¿Estás bien? Sí, creo que sí. El problema es que estoy intentando muy difícil recordar cosas y todo el mundo alrededor me parece que estoy mintiendo. ¿Tú crees en mí, no? No. Gina, sé que estás mintiendo, pero también sé por qué. Gina, I think I know more than anybody how frightening Kirk can be. And I know that you're scared to talk because I was that exact same way for a very long time. Has Kirk really threatened Brandon? Look, Gina, no one can prove that Kirk is the one that tried to kill us. No one can do that. Don't you see that we're still in danger now with him roaming around free? Look, I can't make you talk. But when you do decide to talk, I want you to know that I'm here and I'm going to help you. Help me? What do you mean? I'm going to help you be safe. I'm going to help you get any charges that are brought up against you dropped. I'll try to help you get your son back, but I promise you, you'll be safe. I promise that. I can't believe what you're saying. It's Gina. Gina! Al diablo con eso, no nos va a decir nada. Si la tuviera a mano, le retorcería el cuello. ¿Por qué no me has contado lo del chantaje? Porque hubiera sido una prueba más. 
de que yo había desconectado el sistema de respiración artificial de papá. No podía acudir a ti. ¿Y qué ocurrió? ¿Kirk pagó a ese tipo? Todavía tengo la carta del chantaje. Recuerdo que era parecida a la que me enviaron cuando Gina y yo estábamos aquel día aquí. Quiero ver esa carta. Está en casa. Muy bien, te llevaré antes de ir a la casa del acantilado. No me sorprendería nada que hubiera sido Kier quien te hubiera chantajeado. Es posible. Tiene sentido. Seguramente quería que siguieras creyéndote responsable del accidente de tu padre. Pensó que si te presionaba podría mantenerte bajo su control. Y funcionó. Esos meses fueron los peores de mi vida. Llenos de culpabilidad y miedo. Me alejaron de ti. Pensaba que no podrías amarme después de lo que había hecho. Pero ahora sabes que no lo hiciste. No sabes cuánto le odio. Le odio tanto por lo que me hizo, por lo que nos hizo. Y bien, te lo prometo, no va a hacerte más daño. No tenemos ninguna prueba. Incluso podríamos estar equivocados. No lo estamos. Escúchame. De una forma o de otra, va a pagar por lo que ha hecho. Justin, ¿has visto a Kelly? No. But I just had a run-in with your little brother. Nick, I think he's going over the edge, and a lot of his anger seems to be directed at you. Wait a minute. Where did you see Dylan? At, at the restaurant on top of the Capwell Hotel, the, the Orient Express. He was in a rage. I swear, he sounded like a textbook paranoid. He accused you and me of plotting to take Kelly away from him. All right, uh, Justin, will you do me a favor, please? Stay here for a while. If Kelly calls, I want you to warn her. I'm going to go after him. Well, well, wait, I meant to warn you, not to panic. No, no, it's a lot worse than you know, Justin. Earlier today, he broke into my place here. He mutilated a photograph of Kelly, and Sam says he's carrying a gun. Oh, man. So please, just stay here. If Kelly calls, warn her. Tell her to stay away from Dylan. Nick! got a minute, I'd be happy to fill you in on the details. Dylan, I don't have time for this game play. Well, I'm if expecting I... expecting someone. If I misbehave, you can, uh, get me with a kitchen knife. Unless, of course, you've taken to carrying a switchblade. Dylan, I am expecting someone. I know. Nicky. He's going to meet his first lady in the presidential suite. <laughs> Very clever. Very clever indeed. I read your notes. Actually, I think Nick is going to be a little late. And since I found you first, thanks for inviting me in. And you don't mind if I use your phone? Yes, I do mind. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just helping things along, Kelly. I thought that I'd give Nick a call and have him join us. Hello. Hello, doctor. See, you didn't take any time in getting to my brother Nick. Dylan, Nick's not here. Where are you calling from? <laughs> that I'm sure you would like to know. Uh, the reason that I'm calling is, is that I have a message for my brother from Kelly. Actually, it's, uh, four messages in all. forgiveness my forgiveness why i realized when you started to say and do things i didn't understand i knew that i had changed my love for you to anger 
I know I can't be the judge or guardian of your soul. Mary, I have no business to take offense at something that should be between you and your conscience. Will you forgive me? I wish I had your wisdom and understanding. Oh, Mother Isabel, no matter how it seems, I'm really trying to do what's right, and, and I'm never going to turn my back on what you've taught me. I hope that's so, Mary. I do know that you are much loved by God. And God's will is larger than any of us can ever hope to see. Perhaps you're following it in your own way. Mason, where the hell is my wife? I left her at the convent, Ma. She wasn't there all night, and was she with you? I don't think I have to answer that. You slept with her. <laughs> well, do you, uh... Feel better now? No, not really. But I'm gonna make sure you never see my wife again. She'll never cross your doorstep again if I have anything to do with it, Mark. You won't. I've forgotten how much that hurts. Gina! Get out of my way! And so those nasty rumors are true. You are alive after all. Have you seen Brandon? No, I haven't. And I'd recommend you're not seeing him either, since he still thinks you're dead. Dad, you shouldn't let her run around without a leash. What's going on here? I just came here to talk to you, and Mason won't even let me in the house. Don't tell me she hit you. No. I have more than one friend. Oh, Mason, would you please get out of here? I got a lot to think about tonight. Brandon? Brandon! I'll uh, make a deal with you, Dad. If you'll extend your hospitality, I'll look over those Samwell contracts for you free. You got a deal, but I want you to do it now, so I can make sure I get my end of the bargain. Gee, you're a prince, Dad. Mm. Brandon. Hell, you probably took him away someplace for the day or something, which is good. Now, what did you want to talk to me about, Gina? Because I'd like you out of here as soon as I can get you out. I, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. If it has to do with that deal I made with you, I have every intention of sticking to it. You do? You did the best you could about trying to identify the man who forced you to uh, attack Eden. I can't blame you for not remembering. Now, it's going to take a lot of time and trouble to get Brandon back from Santana and Cruz, but I'm going to try. But I'm warning you now, if you have lied to me about one single detail of that story, the deal is off. Do you understand me? I don't care. Just, just as long as Brandon's all right. All right? Why would he be all right? Mom? Oh, my God. Good evening, Mr. Harlan. Hi. Has Kelly Perkins been in this evening? Yes, she was in earlier. She left an envelope for you. You must have gotten it by now. No, I didn't. Huh. Well, your brother stopped in and said he was picking it up for you. Is there a problem? Uh, no, not at all. I'll, I'll straighten it out. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm glad I found you. Justin, have you heard from Kelly? What's wrong? No, but Dylan called right after you left and he left a message he said was from Kelly. Seek me first in the house of water. Part of me is ocean's daughter. Where is she? You don't mind if I have a glass of this while we wait, do you? You know, Dylan, I'm not afraid of you. The only reason I'm not calling hotel security is because I want to know what you're up to. I want to know why you took those notes I left for Nick. And, and why do you want us all here together tonight? Well, of course there's nothing to be... Afraid of, Kelly, now that you've crippled me. You know, we probably would have gotten along a lot better if you'd have done this a long time ago. Oh, Dylan, for heaven. Well, I wonder if... if Nick has gotten that little riddle of a note I left for him. Or maybe his psychiatrist friend is still analyzing it. What are you talking about? Dr. Moore. Dr. Justin Moore. Oh, that's right. You, you, you didn't know. He's a, uh, he's a psychiatrist. And he's been messing around in your mind. Dylan, he's a musician. And a resident in psychiatry. Just a matter of time before he's a certified shrink. Yes, Kelly, he's been messing around in your mind and you didn't even know it. You know, you sound like you actually believe all this. Well, I'm not the one that makes up all the lies, Kelly. Nick and Justin are. Go to the hospital, ask around. Maybe you'll bump into him with his hospital name tag on. I did. Yes. Nick's had him feeding you a lot of... 
pro-Nick, anti-Dylan stuff, and you bought it. And they didn't even tell you that he was a psychiatrist, did he? You see, Kelly, I've been telling you this all along. Nick is a liar, and so is his shrink friend. Well, I can understand why they didn't tell me. Because I never would have opened up to Justin the way I did if I had known all this. The point is, Kelly, is that they have been deceiving you. They have been working on your mind to get you to go back to Nick, and you didn't even know it. Oh, Dylan, that's ridiculous. They were there to help me. And they did help me. Because I've totally forgotten Peter now. And I understand the fears I've been having, the things that drove Nick and I apart. You should hear yourself. Do you understand what you're saying? You're like, you're parroting what they want you to. Kelly, they have brainwashed you. They brainwashed no, you. No, they haven't. They helped me. People who love each other help each other, Dylan. That's what love is all about. No, I understand that, Kelly. And I am trying to help you, too. I'm trying to help you get rid of Nick. Sweetheart, don't be frightened. I'm alive. Everybody just thought I was dead. I was lost for a little while, but I found my way back. Oh, this is the best surprise in my whole life. Do you know how much I love you? Yes, and I love you. I want you to call Cruz right away. I need to talk to him. Dad? Dad, I just found Haley passed out on the kitchen floor. What happened to her? She says she must have blacked out. <clears throat> Boy, it's great to be home. Sweetheart, it's so wonderful to see you. I have missed you so much. I missed you, too. I'm so happy. So am I. I'll tell you what, though. Why don't you go in the kitchen and, and, and see how Haley is? I'm worried about her. If you want me to. Yeah, I do. But you won't leave? No. I will be right here. Okay. What did you do to Haley? Haley's fine. And no one's gonna do any talking in this house, Gina, especially you. I heard what you were saying to Cece. I know exactly what you were about to tell him. Then who's gonna stop me? Don't be so naive. If you tell them that your first story was a lie, why should they believe your second? They're gonna think you're guilty of everything, Gina. Think about that. Hey, wait a minute. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Just came to pick up a few things. I would like to talk to you. About what? Excuse me. I'd like to talk to you. Well, he, 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 don't you think it'd be a good idea if you knocked before you came barging into people's houses? Oh, I'm terribly sorry if I've upset you, Kirk. Uh, I wouldn't have bothered if it weren't important. Fine. What do you want? I need a description from you of the man Eden says was blackmailing her this winter. Oh, I see. Well, I hadn't realized that my wife had confided in you about that matter. But then again, I guess there's a lot of things about Eden that she doesn't tell me, huh? I wouldn't know about that, Kirk. But I do need that description, if you don't mind. Well, gee, Cruz, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you out with that one. It was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. But that's okay, Kirk, because I'm going to nail you anyway, man. And it's going to be soon. Really? What? Mom? Yes, honey? I don't want to run away again. What makes you think we're running away? I don't know. Well, I like where I live now. I don't want to run away again. And I don't want you to go either. Don't worry, sweetheart. Everything's going to be all right. We're not going anywhere. Now that I've got this, I know somebody else is going to be going away for a long, long time. Come on, let's go.
Hello? Nick, you're there. Oh, Kelly, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Um, I just want to tell you I'm sorry that my surprise for you got ruined, but Dylan... Forget about that. Just tell me where you are. I heard that. Dylan, why are you doing this? Congratulations on solving Kelly's first riddle. You did it faster than I did, but then again, I don't get around as fast as I used to. You know, you really should get over here. Kelly's got a very romantic evening planned. F fine, Dylan. I'll, I'll be right over. Just, just tell me where you are. Of course I will. Now, now listen up closely. You found and claimed my ocean park. Earth, air, and fire will claim my heart. The earth you look for is at home underneath the sky's blue dome. Now, you got that? Good luck, bro. Dylan! Bruce? Yeah? Do you really trust Gina alone with Brandon? No. Well, she just took him outside through the kitchen door. I'll watch the front. Thanks. Oh, hi. Have you, uh... Have you talked to Mark? No, not yet. I came right here. He was here earlier. Pretty angry. And Mason, what did he say? Uh, he's upset. I think I'd better go to the guest house with you. No, no, don't do that. I, I can't hurt him by showing up with you like that. Anyway, I have things to say to him that better be said alone. What are you going to say to him? You think your father would let me move back into my old room here? I'd like something to drink before I go down there. Oh, good Lord, I have corrupted you. One day out of the convent, you're asking for a drink. Oh, I don't blame you. What do you want, scotch, bourbon? Oh, uh, what I had in mind was water. Oh, good. Have you seen Brandon and Gina? No, what? Well, it disappeared. Miraré arriba. Uh, espera un segundo, tengo esa carta del chantaje. ¿Dónde la he puesto? Sí, aquí está. Estupendo. Haré que el perito la analice. Yo contesto. ¿Diga? Eh, sí, un momento. Casi sin pensarlo. Ti. Es Gina. Diga. Cruz, tengo que hablar contigo ahora mismo. ¿Dónde estás, Gina? En el Orient Express. Brandon está conmigo. ¿Puedes venir ahora? Iré enseguida. Me está esperando en el Orient Express. Tiene a Brandon. Quizás esté dispuesta a hablar. ¿Por qué no vienes? No me gusta que te quedes con Kirk. No, no, si todos nos vamos, Kirk sospechará algo, me quedaré y papá está aquí. No. Tengo el mensáfono. That's good. You listen to me. I, I want you to stay away from him. Do you understand? I don't want you going anywhere near Kirk. Mom, promise me you won't go away for such a long time again. Please? I promise, sweetheart, I won't. He could do that. What? Uh, nothing. Look, sweetheart, I've got an idea. You just wait here and I'll be right back. And if Cruz comes along, stay with him, okay? Excuse me. I'm looking for Eden Capwell. Do you know where I can find her? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. Would well, do you mind looking after my little boy for a few minutes? Uh, he knows I'm going to be gone, but he'll be waiting for me, all right? Yes, of course. Thanks. 
Mark. 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 Listen, Mark, I saw I you carpool up a few minutes ago. I want to explain ago. what I've done. I know that I've hurt you. I know. Mary, I've wait a second. We've been hurting each other ever since. We've been Mary, I called the convent last night. I know you weren't there. Oh, Mark. Listen, I don't. I don't want to know where you were either. I'm just uh, glad you're home. You are. Yeah. In fact, there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. There's a lot of things I want to tell you. There's a lot of things I want to tell you too, Mark. Hey, man, what it is? How for Sunday? You okay? Good. You know, you should have let somebody know before you went running off like that, man. You know, we were worried about you. My mom took me. I know, but you, you could have told Mr. C. You should have told me. I'm sorry. Well, that's cool. Where is your mama now, anyway? I don't know. She didn't even see where she was going? She just said to stay with you and keep away from Uncle Kurt. Gina, she left. No, actually, I was looking for you. I heard from CC that uh, Gina remembered that it was the blackmailer who tried to kill you. Yes. Apparently, it's the same man. It's a pity we didn't know what he was capable of back then. Yeah, well, if I had only suspected. Well, it's all over now. I just hope Cruz catches him. Whoever he is. Eden, Eden. Uh, have you had a chance to do any thinking about us since the other night? Yes, I have. I love you. I can't seem to stop that. Although sometimes I think it would be better for both of us if I could. I can't bear the way things are between us right now, Eden. You won't have to feel that way for long. Yes, Kirk, have you heard from Kelly or had any messages for me? Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, none that I know. Well, could right. you check on the table by the telephone, please? This is very important. Look, I don't... Yeah, yeah, there was uh, an envelope that I... Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, Eden! An envelope? Yeah, Dylan picked it up earlier today. Eden! Let's see. Look, um... Kelly isn't here, all right, so I... No, that's all right. I'll, I'll wait here. Thanks. Well, I think Nick should be at the atrium by now. Dylan, I don't know what you're trying to prove, but I think this has gone far enough. Oh, I don't think so, Kelly. <laughs> I'm not ready to stop. I'm going to see this one through right to the end. You know, I've reverted back to my old self. I'm a born kamikaze, a suicide bomber, Kelly. Uh, didn't you know that about me? Dylan, just quit it! That was the quality that first attracted you to me. You you thought it was recklessness, but uh, the fact is, is that man you made love to that night in Santa Rosa didn't give a damn about himself or anything else but you. I want you to get out of here. You know, I changed after that night. I started thinking that for the first time in my life, I wanted a future for myself. A future with you in it. That was my mistake. Yes, that was your mistake. Kelly, if you'd never met Nick, do you? Do you think that you'd love me? Dylan, if I hadn't met Nick, I wouldn't have met you either. How about if Nick was dead? Would you love me then? Uh, just a second, please. James, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Has, has Mrs. Capwell come back yet? I haven't seen her, sir. But you have a phone call. 
Oh, okay, thanks. We keep an eye on Brandon, please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Oh, good, they found you. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just wanted to call and see what Gina had to say. Well, Gina's not here. Brandon's okay, but she's disappeared somewhere. I doubt if she'd just go off, leaving Brandon there. Oh, I hear traffic in the background. Are you on the road or something? Um, yeah, I, I just had to get out of the house. I mean, Kirk was there, and... I mean, there were other people there, but he was just looking at me strangely, and I had to leave. Well, keep going, will you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the place we arranged on. Great. You'll call when you get there? Yeah. Hello, Chris. Don't be mad at me, but... I'm scared. And I miss you. Oh, no, darling, don't be scared. Everything's gonna be okay. Kirk will make a mistake, or Gina will talk, and... We'll nail him. You'll be safe. Maybe, I don't know. He doesn't know where you're headed, does he? No. Maybe. Look, don't start talking negative. Look, I don't know what to do, okay? I just know that he's after me. I know he's going to get me sooner or later. No, he's not. I'm not going to let him get you. Don't lose faith in that. I'm not. <sighs> don't, no, Buds, even please just believe me when I tell you you will be safe from now on. Will I? Yeah.